Hey guys, welcome back to Spirit Sears Cocktail Corner. The weather is cooling off outside, and so I thought it'd be time to break into some of those more hearty fall and wintertime drinks. Uh, as you know, if you're a watcher of this channel, I'm a big fan of flips. Uh, they can be messy, but they're really delicious. Uh, so this is called the Death Flip. It's a riff on a drink currently on the menu at the Black Pearl, which is a bar in Australia. However, um, ours I'm substituting where they would normally use Jägermeister. I am using our uh, own Utah's Box Death Amaro from Water Pocket Distillery. So it's a little bit deeper characteristics, more herbal, less sweet. But uh, to make up for that, we're gonna use just a little bit of Demerara syrup instead of plain old simple. I think it's gonna turn out really well, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start with one ounce of Blanco tequila. Uh, tequila flips are really unusual, but I still think this is gonna be a delicious drink. We have one ounce of uh, tequila. We have a half ounce of yellow chartreuse. So yellow chartreuse is still an herbal liqueur, but it's a little bit sweeter, a little bit lower proof than the green. Uh, I think it'll marry well with the combination we're gonna have going here. So half ounce. We're gonna do a half ounce of our Water Pocket Box Death Amaro. And just about a quarter ounce of simple syrup. So this is a one-to-one -one Demerara. I already smell all that herbal goodness wafting up out of the shaker. All right, so now we're gonna add our egg. Um, and a flip calls for a whole egg, uh, yolk and all. Um, it's gonna give us a more creamy mouthfeel um, a little bit heavier than just an egg white cocktail would. So we're gonna crack our whole egg into there. It's a little bit easier when you don't have to worry about uh, separating the yolk from the white. Now we're gonna dry shake this to really foam it up and froth it and then we're going to wet shake with ice. Now for some of these flips, uh, almost the longer you shake it, the better. I'm gonna kind of split the difference, go about 10 more seconds. You're really gonna wanna hold on to these cocktail shakers or it'll pop. All right. Now we're gonna add our ice and shake again to chill and dilute. Okay, nice and chilled. Now we're gonna strain this and double strain it because if we don't double strain, any ice chips that find their way through are gonna kill that foaminess that we worked so hard to create. Perfect, and then we're just gonna garnish the top with a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg. Perfect, smells like Christmas. So the nose is mostly nutmeg. You get a little bit of the like herbaceousness from the Amaro and the Chartreuse, but not too much. The tequila is still hidden here. Ooh, delicious. It's nice and creamy. 
Um, it's like eggnog, but not nearly as sweet. You really get the nice deep herbal notes of the box death, um, which really brings it down and keeps this from becoming like a dessert drink. It is rich and it is one that you'd want to take your time with, but it's not a drink that I would relegate to after dinner or dessert, um, especially because it's served cold. Um, I really enjoy this. If you guys decide to make it, uh, drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you used. Maybe uh, if Box Death isn't available in your area, let me know what Amaro you used because they're all so different. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you uh, click the links below, links below, you can find some awesome merch like our Spirit Sears tees here. They came out really good. We're really happy with them. Love to see more of you wearing them out in the wild. So until next time, keep the spirit.